Virgo, what is up? It's your girl cat. Happy 4th of July. I'm going to do your weekly reading right now. The bottom of the deck, Shazam, it's the Empress. Ooh. All right, let's lay these out and see what we got. It was pouring rain here. So There's not a whole lot going on here, I don't think, tonight. I think everything's canceled. I haven't checked though, but uh, anyway, hope you guys are all having a great night. All right, let's see what we got. Hmm. All right. I feel like a push and pull energy. That's the Aquarius card or a bright future ahead of you. Okay. Things that you're not verbalizing, you're just kind of keeping them to yourself, not in a secretive or like, um, you know, deceitful way. Just not, uh, not putting it out there. Just keeping it to yourself. Something's got your heart broken. Been hanging on for a long time here. This is a great partnership with the Two of Cups. Balance with Temperance. The Devil. Seems it's kind of back and forth, back and forth. Sticking up for yourself, setting boundaries, leaning on family and friends for support, or celebrating with family and friends. Hmm. I think we got a toxic relationship on our hands. It feels like it anyway. Let's see what we got. I'm going to shuffle these a little bit. All right. The bottom of this deck, we have the Eight of Swords, which is often a self-imposed prison. Okay, it's feeling trapped in a situation that you created yourself. All right, so bright future ahead. What's that all about? Okay. A happy home life is a stable partnership here. A happy home life. A, what am I trying to say? Stable foundation, solid foundation. Um, that's like a happy and prosperous and harmonious, and that's a good look and a bright future. Okay. So, what are you keeping to yourself? Conflict, some kind of conflict. It's either inner conflict or it's conflict around you, conflict with another person. You're conflicted about something. Could be a third party situation in the house and that is clarified by the big pentacle that's the ace of pentacles could be a third party situation been hanging on for a while here for some reason hoping to move out of hard times and into karma waters i feel like this is a very very strong connection here King of Wands, that's clarified by somebody who's very sexy and attractive and passionate. So you could feel very sexually attracted to this person. You could have a very strong sexual attraction. Temperance, it's all about balance. The devil. Yeah, I think there's some kind of lustful, uh, very like sexually charged energy to this reading. I think there's a third party situation here and I think it's it's lust. I to be honest with you, I think it's lust. It could be somebody who's got a lot of money. Somebody who like has a nice house and like drives a fancy car, dresses very nicely, lavish vacations. Yeah, here's the devil again. <laughs> So that's a lot of lust. <laughs> and that is clarified by justice. Hmm. Justice. So it could have something to do with a legal issue. It could be a Libra or Hmm. Well, you know, I was just thinking about the scales in here too, right? And we're just talking about balance. Yeah, I feel like this is the same message twice, Virgo. Honestly, I feel like, and I don't know if it's you or if it's your person, but somebody is messing around with another person who's got a lot of money. And it's just, it's lust. It's just straight up lust. And I think that, you know, You know about it or your person knows about it. 
And that's where this conflict and this undisclosed thoughts and feelings are talk. And you know, you've been hanging on, but wanting to move out of hard times and into karma waters with this person. Setting boundaries, sticking up for yourself, making a stand, okay? You could do this a little impulsively and a little recklessly. You could call this person out. Okay, Virgo, I feel like I feel like it's your person. Your person is the one with the third party situation. I don't think it's you. I don't think you're gonna call this person out. I lean on your family and friends for support. Yeah, and here's the ending. Shit. Yeah, I think you're gonna stand up for yourself. You're gonna come in swinging. <laughs> recklessly just rah, rah, rah. you're gonna call this person out you're gonna tell them what's up how you feel you're gonna end this shit and land on lean on your family and friends for support because there's definitely some kind of sexual lusty third party thing going on here with somebody with a lot of money and there's a lot of wands in this reading too i just realized that it's a lot of like sexual energy a lot of passion a lot of action so yeah, I feel like you're going to end this with this person. Yeah, and don't forget we had the Empress at the bottom of the deck, which is a great time for new beginnings, okay? So you just, you know, get in your Empress energy. Leveling up. Who needs this? <laughs> All right, so how is this going to end? How, how does this resolve for Virgo? How does this reading end? What's the outcome? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and shit, the Eight of Pentacles. This is this is two eights. Like again, I'm not into numerology, you guys, but who, whoever is like, that must mean something, right? The eights. All right. What these mean to me <laughs> is that this person, when you end this. They, they're gonna harass you they're gonna they're gonna all of a sudden they want this commitment with you you're gonna walk away they're gonna say listen it's not what it seems with the seven of cups here oh it's not what it seems i love you i want to be with you they're gonna message you constantly and they're gonna tell you they want to work on this let's pull i'm gonna pull these Yeah, this person's not, not going to give you up. Not without a fight. And I mean, I don't know if it's any kind of consolation to you at all, but this is just a lusty thing. They're like, they don't have any feelings for this person. It's just lust. I mean, that would make a difference to me, but <laughs> I'm not you. <laughs> all right, let's see glasses on this one jumped out so i'm going to take this one i know i've let you down yeah no shit buddy right <laughs> male or female whatever i know i've let you down let's pull a couple more i've been watching your social media yeah i'm telling you when you when you tell this person when you end this with this person they're gonna harass the shit out of you you can expect them to be texting you constantly, calling you constantly. Like, yeah, they're going to be a pain in the ass. They're going to be relentless in trying to get you back. <laughs> I regret how we handled this. Oh, how I've handled the situation. Mm -hmm. They're going to be full of regret and disappointment. I'm telling you. Yep. But wait, <laughs> I feel like let's pull these too. Love call. <laughs> Didn't I just say, I sort of got a love tarot. Expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Didn't I just say this person is gonna blow up your social media, they're gonna be texting you, they're gonna be relentless. Oh yeah, baby. They're gonna be, oh yeah. They're coming for you. <laughs> oh no. All right, Virgo. Well, that's what I have for you. I hope that you like that. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, sorry, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. Join the Scorpio Cat family, the more the merrier. 
and um, I hope you have a happy and safe 4th of July. And until next time, take care, Virgo. Bye.